I am asking for prayers from my family. Um, I would really, really appreciate it um, for those of you who do pray or are prayer warriors that watch. If um, you could pray for my family, I would really appreciate it. Um, we're going through a few different difficult situations um, that I was hoping would just kind of fix themselves and go away and they're not one of them we've been dealing with for quite some time now um over a month or so and so i would just kind of just kind of wanted to come on and share ask for prayers and we'll see how things go from here on out everything is going fine inside of the family we're all doing really really well um, i'm happy to report that um, that we're doing really good here in the house um, but there are some exterior things that um, have come our way or things that we're going through um, that are outside of the house that we're having a really difficult time with um, and i'm not going to go into a lot of detail but i will share a little bit because i think it's um, pertains to our life here in guanajuato mexico I'm starting to realize after being here for almost three years now, no, over three years, <laughs> we just celebrated our three year anniversary here in Guanajuato, Mexico, that um, my husband left for good reason. Um, a lot of the immigrants that do travel to um, the United States and Canada do leave for very good reasons. Um, a lot of them being very similar, the same. Um, and I'm just starting to kind of see um, why and trying to understand it and trying to deal with it the best that we can being here um, because this is where our home is this is where we built our home this is where we brought our family from minnesota um, and so my stance right now is to just kind of figure out how we can deal with it in the best way possible for my family um, in the situation that we're in, if that makes sense. As many of you know, and I've talked about it before, I've never supported illegal immigration. I don't think I ever will. Um, but I do know that there are a lot of people in really bad situations all over the world um, that are looking for a better life and for really good reasons. And um, I am just starting to realize my husband's particular situation um, and so I just I really I really always have believed and believe still that um, the immigration system in the United States is flawed um, it's very broken um, we are in need over there for hard-working men and um, we can support families and um, we're just not open to doing that immigration um, I'm not sure what they're thinking sometimes on some of their decisions but I highly disagree with it and I feel like there should be an, um, an immigration reform a complete change in the immigration system um, so I will say that I know some people get upset with me when I say that I don't support illegal immigration I believe that all countries should be protected all countries have fought to be who they are and to be where they are and um, I don't think that anybody should be able to come and destroy that and unfortunately there are some people who um, illegally cross the borders and that's nothing but their intentions so um, I just wanted to say that but there's so many um, people that are suffering in the world that are going through terrible terrible times um, have to deal with some really awful things and so they run and they go to the United States or go to Canada to have a better life and um, my husband was one of those people <laughs> and despite all of our efforts um, of trying to do everything the right way or the way that um, we were told we were supposed to um, he was denied his status change so um, we're trying to figure out how to um, deal with some of those things here. Um, and it's been more difficult now in the last couple of months. So I just, I ask for your prayers um, and your good thoughts um, for my family as we kind of navigate this and kind of struggle our way through. 
I know that with the Lord, he can turn all evil into good. And so um, I know that that's possible. And I know in the end, that's what will happen. So that was just something that I wanted to share that we are struggling with a lot currently. Um, but we're also going through a couple of other things um, that um, I ask for your prayers for. Um, we have we have um, been, someone has attempted to financially extort us. And so we are, um, we thought that we had it taken care of. Um, the authorities were involved and um, we thought that it had resolved, but it's kind of looking like it's not. Um, and so your prayers with that situation would be absolutely, absolutely appreciated. Um, I'm just not sure, you know, what um, tomorrow looks like or what the future is going to look like in that situation. Um, here in Guanajuato, Mexico, it's so much different than where I grew up in small town Minnesota. Um, I, you can say that I was naive living in Minnesota and coming to Mexico and not realizing how a lot of the other world lives and um, not having a lot of experience with um, real life situations like how they're handled here. Um, so we are dealing with that also. Hopefully everything will turn out to be just fine. Um, I just, again, I ask for prayers. Um, we should see an end to that fairly soon if everything goes well. Um, and then an another thing that um, we're dealing with, it kind of, when it rains, it pours, you know? Um, and so my grandfather just passed away and I, he was in Minnesota and I'm here in Guanajuato, Mexico. And um, I can't just get on a plane and go over there um, to support my mother, to, to try to be at the funeral, to, um, to do any of those things that I would um, consider doing if I was in Minnesota because I'm over here and Ijo Jr. still hasn't um, received his documents to um, travel over to the United States as a citizen like he is. Um, so I'm just not available for my family like I would like to be. Um, I did... Um, I wasn't very close with my grandfather. I'm sure some of my family is watching this, but he is still my grandfather. Um, I have my reasons for that that I don't care to share, but he is still my grandfather. My family is still over there mourning the, that loss, and um, I can't be there for my mom. Um, I, and so I'm, I'm dealing with that as well, being here. And so that's why I wanted to share this video is because there's things that are going on um, in everybody's lives behind the scenes, you know, where you just, you hurry up and fix it or you, you deal with it and you move on. And um, I've had quite a few people comment and say, oh, you make everything look so easy. And that's not my intentions. My intentions are to be um, completely honest, but share what, you know, what I'm comfortable sharing as well. And so I just wanted you to know that there are struggles behind the scenes that we deal with, um, missing family and really close friends and maybe an old way at life and um, that kind of thing. It's not, it's not perfect all the time, I promise. <laughs> I don't think anybody's life is. Um, but in the end, it'll all be okay. I know that. Um, as a Christian woman, sometimes we are looked at as we're supposed to be, you know, humble and quiet and reserved um, and just be strong inside and um, carry on. But we can't forget that we're also supposed to fight evil. Um, we have that ability. We're supposed to be strong Christian women. And evil is here to seek 
and destroy. And so in those moments, we need to stand and we need to fight for what is right and not let it destroy ourselves and our children and our families. And although it may be uncomfortable and not in our first or natural nature, it's inside of us. And that's what we're called to do. And that's what I was reminding myself of today, is even though I feel weak, even though I'm hurting, um, even though I feel a little in despair, um, I need to stand strong because I'm, I'm the daughter of a king. And I have a duty and a responsibility to be a strong Christian woman. And I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna fight for my family. Pa by my side, he's also fighting and we just, we, um, we hope that everything turns out well for our family and everything's okay. So um, your prayers would be really, really appreciated. And I wanted to say again, I thank everybody so much for being here and watching. Um, our videos and um, being a part of our YouTube family here. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate this relationship with all of you um, and appreciate your support for my family on this journey. I am absolutely grateful. Um, and so I'll end this video on that note. Um, but like I said, everything in the family is, is fine. We're all doing really, really well. We're just battling a lot of outside things. But it's it's going to be a battle. We, we're going to fight for what's right. <laughs> so I just thought I'd keep everybody updated and share what I feel comfortable sharing. I probably said that a couple of times. Um, I wasn't sure I was even going to make this video or not. But um, I did. Who knows, maybe I'll delete it, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll keep everybody updated. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Adios.